What's up guys, GV2017 here, and I'm bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video, and this marks the start of a new series on my channel where we'll take an in-depth look at every single companion in the game. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm sharing my companion guide for Preston Garvey, who is one of the first companions you'll meet in the game. And in this video, we'll discuss how to get Preston, what his stats look like, how to increase his affinity, and the effectiveness of his companion perk. Real quick, I will be streaming Fallout 4 live on my Twitch channel starting tomorrow, December 15th. So if you're interested, I'll have more information towards the end of the video. First, let's talk about a little background info on Preston. So he actually joined the Minutemen at age 17. He was really young when he joined them, and he was under Colonel Hollis, which is something you'll learn if you talk to Preston. I think very shortly after you start doing missions for him in Sanctuary, he'll tell you he was under a person called Colonel Hollis with the Minutemen, and their mission was to take Quincy, which is a town in the southeastern part of the map that was occupied by the Gunners, who are a mercenary organization within the game. I'm sure you guys know that. And so once they did that, they took Quincy, but then the Gunners reformed and kind of mounted a counterattack and actually took Quincy back. They killed Colonel Hollis and they retook the city. So that's when Preston Garvey escaped the city with the rest of the crew, you know, Marcy, June, Sturges and Mama Murphy all the way back to Concord and of course that's when the Soul Survivor meets these players So it's really cool. You can actually go back to Quincy and look at some terminals You can go in Sturges garage Which is kind of cool and read up more about Preston Garvey his history and the Minutemen I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I'm sure a lot of you already know where to find Preston Garvey But his location is at Sanctuary Hills, you know where the Soul Survivor's house is after completing When Freedom Calls, which is a main quest in the game. So, of course, you're going to find him first at the Museum of Freedom and Concord, but once you're done with that, he will always be at Sanctuary Hills. I made a video a few days ago detailing all of the hidden stats that the game doesn't tell you, so I'm pretty much reiterating the same information here for Preston. So, Preston's stats, his special spread, is 5, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8 for 57 total special points. There's not a lot, you know, great going on here. There's no one category that's far and above any other companion, but again, you know, special stats don't really matter too much for your companions. He has a 150 carry weight by default. That's most companions have that, so nothing special there. And also he has no immunity because really none of the human characters in the game have any immunities to poison or radiation damage. Preston is the same. So really, in terms of Preston's stats, he's not really special in any category whatsoever. Now let's talk about companion affinity, which is this game's loyalty system for your followers and companions. And essentially how it works is the companions will react to player actions, choices, and dialogue throughout the game as long as they are following you. Also, if they're, they're in the general vicinity of you, even if they're not your direct follower, they will you know, react to certain things that you do. And once you reach the maximum affinity, which is actually a thousand points, there is a point system when you do something good, you'll get a certain amount of points, but there's no bar in the game. There's no way to actually measure it exactly, which seems like you know a complete omission. I don't know why they didn't add that in the game so we could track it. But once you get maximum affinity, that'll allow a romance only for certain characters, and Garvey is included in that. And also it'll grant you the companion perk for that specific companion. Of course, every companion is unique and different. They have different personalities. They like certain things, they dislike other things. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the general affinity choices that will you know, kind of impact the way Preston views you. So that's pretty much through quest decisions or dialogue choices. Pretty much Preston likes when the player is generous, mean, or peaceful, which seems like a odd, you know, kind of combination. But you know, when you do something mean, Preston likes it, or generous, or peaceful. On the flip side, he dislikes it when the player is selfish or violent. And you'll see these reflected in the top left. It'll say Preston liked that, or Preston disliked that. There's also some different modifiers like Preston loved that, or Preston hated that. So if you can imagine a meter, kind of a slider that goes, you know, left and right, right being in the right direction, you know, going up to a thousand to maxing out that affinity, that will go up whenever you do something that Preston likes, and it'll go down when you do something that he dislikes. Preston also has some additional kind of opinions towards specific player actions, or what I'm calling 
specific affinity. So Preston likes it when the player donates items or modifies weapons. So an example of this is in Diamond City. There's someone who really wants a Nuka-Cola. He's kind of begging on the ground. If you give them a Nuka-Cola, Preston will like that. Also, if you modify a weapon at your weapon workbench, then he will like that as well. Preston's dislikes in specific player actions are when the player has a chem addiction, so he doesn't like drugs, no drugs, kids. Of course, he doesn't like it when Mama Murphy has him, so that makes sense. He doesn't like it when you eat corpses, unfortunately. He also dislikes when you murder non-hostile people, when you pick owned locks, when you steal, and or when you pickpocket anybody. So generally speaking, Preston is a goody two-shoes. If you're trying to play kind of a, an immoral character, one that steals, one that uses chems, and even eats corpses, you know, it's probably gonna be tough to get Preston's maximum affinity. Very briefly, I plan on covering a method to boost Preston's affinity up very quickly, but for some reason it didn't work for me. I think maybe they patched it or something, but I'm still gonna tell you guys about it in case it works for you. So obviously Preston likes it when you modify weapons. So in order to exploit that, the method is to go up to a workbench and make a save and then after that you modify a weapon and then you save over that save and then you're able to modify again and each time it'll say Preston like that and then you can boost it up really quickly but that did not work for me I tried doing other things like passing the time from you know traveling to sleeping and then Preston seemed to you know not like it or not that he dislike it but he didn't like it that I was continuing to do the modding so that was kind of an artificial way to boost it for some reason it didn't work for me let me know if it still works for you guys once you've reached that maximum affinity you will have the united we stand perk and the game will tell you like hey you've got this perk now because Preston really likes you and so the description for this perk is you deal plus 20 percent more damage and gain plus 20 damage resistance when fighting three or more opponents. What I love about this perk is that it's a flat damage boost of all damage to any kind of enemy. You deal plus 20% more damage. It still has that stipulation of when you're facing three or more opponents, but the fact is, is you're gonna be facing groups of opponents a lot. You know, ghouls come in packs, so do raiders, so do super mutants, pretty much all types of enemies. So that's why this is, well, in my opinion, one of the strongest perks in the game in terms of companion perks, you know, easily top three, because also you can get it really early in the game. Of course, you meet Preston within the first hour of a playthrough. So it's easy to start, you know, doing what he likes in order to get his maximum affinity to get this perk. The only thing I don't like about this perk is that you don't know when it activates. Unfortunately, it's difficult to measure because you don't know the exact vicinity that, you know, three or more opponents being in your area, you don't know, you know, what exactly exactly means facing three or more opponents so they have to be within 50 you know fallout meters of you in order to you know gain this bonus we don't really know so it's hard to measure how effective it is but in theory you're facing three or more opponents in a lot of situations in the game it's a very good combat based perk some of my final observations on Preston Garvey are that he's easily one of the best companions in terms of combat in the game solely because of that perk and solely because you meet him very early he's not in a you know hard to reach area you know he's not way over in good neighbor like Hancock and McCready you, know, you don't have to wait in order to get him you get him immediately you can immediately start building that affinity towards him and you'll get this perk in no time it's very very useful unfortunately he's one of the least interesting characters in the game if not the absolute least most boring character possible I mean he's pretty much a wet noodle he's got no personality going on there he's just like this you know puppet of the Minutemen he just tells you about the Minutemen and everyone else is okay he likes the railroad kinda oh don't mess with the Brotherhood though he doesn't like the Brotherhood and if you choose to be friendly with the Minutemen you become the general and he doesn't do any of the work you're above him in rank and somehow he has to you know give you orders to go out to you know the outpost and defend this you know help the checkpoints go check on this settlement and all this stuff so Preston ends up being exceedingly boring exceptionally uninteresting interesting like he's just the worst character ever and he's also just annoying because he orders you around and doesn't really make sense I don't know if we blame that on Preston or the devs because that just doesn't really make sense I'd like to know after watching this video will you use Preston Garvey as your companion will you go and get his affinity all the way up for this really good combat perk and I also like to know how you would rate him on a scale with other companions do you put him really high up there like I do because he's really high up there but if you want to kind of role play and have somebody that you actually like you know that's interesting with you um, then Preston might not be your guy he's probably one of the most annoying characters like I said maybe outside of Mama Murphy and Marcy because they're even worse but anyways share all of your thoughts below
For those of you interested in my stream, I will be live streaming an entire Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough on my Twitch channel starting tomorrow. December 15th, so check the description below for a link to my Twitch channel so you can follow me there, and we'll be playing Fallout for at least three hours every single day for a solid month, and I'll be giving away one copy of Fallout 4 on Xbox One only to a lucky viewer at the end of my first stream, again tomorrow on December 15th. So the stream will start tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. If you don't know what that is, check the description below for a link to a time zone converter. I'm still working on the rest of the schedule and I'm planning to make a vlog tomorrow and upload that with the official stream schedule. So I hope you all are as excited as I am for that. All right, guys, today I shared my companion guide for Preston Garvey in Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos, and remember that this is your one-stop shop for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for more continued unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.